Do not spend the rest of your life beating yourself up because you aren't as rich as the person you see on TV. Enjoy the love and company you have of your family and friends and the rest will fall in line. Good day everyone, it's Mike Versal with another Monday Motivational Minute session. Today, I want to ask you a question and leave you with some advice. Is money more important than love or does love win? I'm hoping at the end of this session, I can give you a frame of mind to help you when deciding which avenues to pursue in life, whether it's pure love or money in abundance. And most people will say that's an easy choice, money. It saves everything. Money makes you successful. And it certainly makes you more comfortable and is the most crucial thing for survival. When love is overrated, it's superficial, and literally won't buy you anything or help you survive. But would you agree you can become one of the richest persons in the world and face the risk of being lonely, surrounded by fake snakes and opportunist sharks out there who just want to be your friend for your riches? But when you're okay in money, have an average amount of wealth and decent income, your life is more stable than you think because you live a normal life where you can enjoy true love and be surrounded by real people who love you for real, not for your riches or for someone they perceive you to be. This is why it's important to find the middle ground. Enjoy the little bit of money you have and remember that money is artificial. It's not real for a reason. It can buy you all your dreams and buy you everything you dream of, but it can't buy you love can actually defer you from love because you lose sight of what's real. You may end up putting yourself in circles where no one cares about you but your wealth and status. Yes, it's fair to say that we all need money in abundance to pay our bills and cost of living and still have a surplus to enjoy, but where do you draw the line? Where's the limit? Do you want money that can lead you to a mortgage type of money and decent living with family? Or do you want Hollywood type of money with the potential absence of love? Unless you can get both, which is very hard because the minutes you cross over and become super wealthy, as Diddy said, more money, more problems. There's no way you can prevent society from coming after those riches, whether it's taxes, fake social circles, gold diggers, and so-called friends. I mean, how do you call it if the person you're getting involved with is truly in love with you and not your money? So comrades, think about this the next time you think too much about money. If you had to choose between love and comfortable living or riches and all your dreams can buy, which would you choose? You need to make that choice. Which would it be? So when making those decisions, think about the following things. Number one, don't be upset about your life. You will soon realize it's not as bad as you think. You have a roof over your head, You have internet, Wi-Fi to watch my videos. And you may have a family or a few acquaintances who want to see you do well, who truly care and love you. Number two, enjoy the life you have. You might have a small job. You do every day and that's fine. That's all you need. Yes, of course, it's easier said than done, but don't go chasing waterfalls like TLC said, as you might regret it. Be happy with what you got and the rest will follow. Why not listen to my positive podcast on Thursdays called The Unified Diaries. I give you my thoughts and advice on selected topics and things that are happening today in life and society. So thanks for listening. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this. Hit a like and share with someone today who needs to think positive about life. Subscribe for new weekly content and I'm hoping you can have a good week ahead and hasta la vista. I'll see you later. Peace.